all the days of his vow, no razor shall come upon his head until the time is completed for which he separates himself from the Lord. He shall be holy, he shall let the locks of his hair grow long. Number 6, 5. Backed by this Bible quotation, any person can put on dreadlocks provided he or she wants to be a Nazarene. That person could also be called a Rastafarian. When it began, the Rastafarian movement was named after Safari Makonnen, the original name of Haile Selassie I, a prince who in 1930 was crowned the emperor of Ethiopia. The central doctrine of Rastafarianism is that Haile Selassie is the Christ of the black race. Its adherents worship Haile Selassie as the reincarnation of Jesus. According to beliefs, Haile Selassie was the 225th in an unbroken line of Ethiopian monarchs of the Solomonic dynasty. This dynasty is said to have been founded in the 10th century by Menelik I, the son of the biblical King Solomon, and Makeda, the Queen of Sheba, who had visited Solomon in Israel. The movement is the rejection of Western society called Babylon. The long matted locks, known as dreadlocks, easily identify Rastafarians. However, not all who have dreadlocks are Rastafarians. Are you a Rastafarian? Well, I'm everything embodied in one. I believe that um, uh, when we are spiritual, we can accommodate every aspect of religion on us. So that um, I'm not wearing locks because I'm a Rastafarian. I am a Christian, I'm a Rastafarian, I'm a traditionalist, I'm a Buddhist, I'm everything. Dreadlocks is a real African identity. So that if, if, if you spot anyone wearing locks, it means that the person is just being bold to show to the world what he or she is. So for me, that is what dreadlock means to me. It means very, very, very um, accommodating, very traditional, and so much of yourself and nothing else. The Ghanaian society does not seem to have fully accepted the Rastafarian lifestyle, though they are generally considered as honest and likable people. The Rastafarians, they are more respectful because I have friends who are Rastafarians, but then I wouldn't want to date a Rastafarian because I don't like the, the hair. I would like my son to be a Rastafarian because at times some of, some of them, how they dress and their appearance, I don't like it. I just like them because they are calm. Rasta is not a sin or a crime. Interestingly, they are mostly found in the informal sector. Maybe a representation of their simple and relaxed lifestyle. The formal sector frowns on employing them. One would seldom see a Rastafarian banker, lawyer or doctor in Ghana. The reason is this. In the corporate world, uh, because of reputation issues, because of branding, you are expected to dress in a particular way and you cannot go against it. And so, if coming from a Rastafarian society and you bring that type of hair into the corporate world, as a man in particular, you look awkward and in most cases, you may be asked not to work or to clear it before you continue working. But come to look at it, what the ladies are doing now is the same Rastafarian. It is not that nobody wants to integrate them into society, but what they are practicing, does it conform with the norm of the society? If the banks are not taking people who wear dreadlocks, I'm sorry, because there could be more brains in locks than any, anything else. So if you don't want them and you just want anybody to look, have that corporate image like you people are saying, you have to wear your wigs and put on your suit and everything, and that makes you a very intelligent person, then I'm sorry. They're actually missing the point. There's so many, 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 many intelligent and very conscious people out there who are wearing locks. Is it because of that that they wouldn't have 
the gates of the corporate world open to them. It is being done elsewhere. In America, you see people in locks, they are judges, they are doctors, they are everything. Here at the Center for National Culture, I am with my Rastafarian brethren. We're going to learn more about the Rastafarian movements and their lifestyle. How long have you been a Rastafarian? I've been in Rastafarian business for the past 10 years now. Why Rasta? I was born Rasta, so I have to be Rasta because Rasta is my style and I like Rasta. I mean, I love Rasta. Who is the Rastafari? It's not about the dreadlock. This is Lux, but Rasta is in the heart. And any conscious thinker, positive thinker is a Rasta. If I have more hair, I get headache all the time. So I cut it off, but I'm Rasta in my heart, even without the hair. Rastafarians are to observe Hebrew dietary laws, abstaining from certain items in their diet and eating only foods considered pure. Rastafarians have developed an elaborate ritual system using marijuana as a sacrament, as Christians use bread and wine. Marijuana, some scientists say, have negative implications on the human body. However, Rastafarians debunk the claim, saying, it is good herbal medicine, which was created by God. Do you smoke weed? Yeah, I buff weed. I smoke weed. You know, smoking of weed is illegal in Ghana. So why do you smoke? It's illegal in Ghana, but some part of the world is legal and it's medicine to some, some of us. Oh, and there was absolutely no way I was going to leave without learning the Rastafarian dance. Ah!